Good morning everybody. Today I'm guided to speak to you about the role that judgment plays in our lives. You know very often we lose friends or things go wrong or things didn't turn out the way that you would hoped because of judgment. We so easily judge someone else or judge one another when their actions does not necessarily agree with yours or um, does not necessarily have met your expectations. So the behavior disappointed you in one or other way. And then we tend to judge the person, we tend to judge ourselves, and sometimes even we judge circumstances in our lives that go wrong. We live our lives so much by the tick and the cross. You know these two boxes and the one box contains the tick, which means it's right and it's good. And then there's the box that contains the cross and that's not so good and that's wrong. And when everything goes right, we are comfortable and we are happy and we are joyful. And when we filed something in the box that says wrong, we're uncomfortable and we tend to not go there, we are avoid it, maybe we fear the conflict around it, or we just resist the whole process of things being wrong. Actually, all our growth and all our learnings come from the wrong box. Everything that is wrong is actually where our growth lies, where our fear lies, where our challenges lies. So instead of labeling things or filing things in terms of this is right or this is wrong, perhaps maybe a good way to look at it is just to say, this situation has showed up in my life right now. Is it serving me? Is it not serving me? What can I do about that? And from that perspective, you then move it into acceptance and you look at it with different eyes and you think of a way in which you can turn it around or work with the situation. And if people or circumstances or events are no longer serving you, then you can let it go. It's not in the energy of wrong, it's just saying that this situation is no longer working for me. And when we release people or circumstances, then we do it with the energy of gratitude. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for all the gifts that I've received from you. Thank you for our journey together. If it's a life circumstance, what are you teaching me? What can I do differently? Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for the life I have thus far. And from there you are able to move it into something that's right, something that works for you. So it's really just removing the energy of judgment, removing the right and the wrong to it, but rather look at what is, what has presented itself to you, and then ask the question, how is it serving me at this time? Then we can build on it or turn it around with love and gratitude. Love becomes then the focus point. Love is the biggest healer of all. You know, I'm also just guided to speak to you about losing friends um, and people that judge you or you feel judged by another. Please don't get despondent by that. You know, everybody is acting in accordance with what they believe is right at the time. And let's embrace and accept that. And even though it hurts you to lose a friend, and even though you feel hurt by other people's judgment of you, send love, send understanding, and perhaps maybe use that then for yourself and say, how easily am I judging other people? How easily am I the judge of others? 
because often when we are on the receiving end of judgment, we really, really know how it feels and we can try as much as possible to send love, to send appreciation, to send love and understanding to those who have judged you, saying, I know that you've acted with the knowledge and wisdom you had at the time. I release you, I forgive you, I love you, God bless you, peace be with you. And with self-judgment in areas where you've judged yourself, be kinder. Know that you are doing the best that you can with what you have, with the knowledge and wisdom you have at this point. And say to yourself, I release me from judgment. I forgive me for any hurt or harm I've done to myself, knowingly or unknowingly. I love me. God bless me, peace be with me. And in so doing, we remove the energy of judgment from our lives and to one another. I'm wishing you lots of love today and I'm wishing you a new way of seeing things. To see the world, not through judgment, but with love, kindness and understanding. Thank you so much for listening. This is Wisdom in the Moment from Michelle Fucht. You can also view my website at www.michellefuch.com. I'm very excited about the Crossing Over event that's happening on the 29th of September. We will have heavenly conversations. We will talk angels. We will talk archangels. We will meet our guides. And we will also receive beautiful messages of love and forgiveness from your loved ones. So please have a look at the events on my website. It's on the 29th of September. And I'd love for you to join me in heavenly conversation with lots of love. Thank you. Bye.